Welcome back to my channel for another vlog. Today is planting day. Well, we are here at the nursery. I'm wearing my baseball hat because greasy hair. And I have a list, it's not a very long list, but a list of vegetables to get. I want to get two lettuces, four cucumber plants, four bell peppers or some sort of peppers, like colorful peppers, and then two jalapenos, and then as well as a few flowers. We also need to pick up soil. So let's go ahead and get started. just got home and walked in the door and I have a package, an Amazon delivery. It's a toy for Danny. This is a little busy board for him. I didn't even realize, but it's actually like a car. Steering wheel, the little key, <laughs> ignition here, brights, a light switch, hazards. <laughs> Speedometer, it's so cute. Super fun for practicing fine motor. And Danny is all about little fiddly things like this. He's just always picking stuff up and inspecting little details. So I think this is gonna be a big hit. Let's see. Hi, buddy. You've got a new toy. Do you wanna try it? Do you wanna try your new toy? I think you really like it. Let's see. I just had this idea to actually command strip it to this railing here. You could also attach it to a wall. I just put two command strips on the back so that it is stuck to the railing so that he can't take it down and he can just play with it. This is a perfect tummy time activity. I am enjoying some sparkling water with lemon. It is so refreshing. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I am dripping in sweat. I just cut the grass and I decided to do that right now for two reasons. One, because our grass needed to be cut and two, I'm going to use the grass clippings to lay on the bottom of our garden beds before adding the compost and soil. I was thinking about using the black landscaping mesh, but then I was reading that you can just use cardboard and grass clippings, and so that's what I'm going to do. So we're gonna start that here in a little bit. First, I'm gonna show you what I picked up at the nursery. I did stray a little bit from <laughs> my list. They didn't have jalapenos, they only had the big plants. I really wanted a start of jalapenos, so I will probably check a couple other places to find some this week. 
And then I did get some flower varieties that I was not planning on buying. And knowing me, that's no surprise because I love flowers and the thought of growing my own is just so exciting. So let me show you what I picked up. All right, here are all of our flowers and some herbs that I grabbed as well as our vegetables. So over here we have some parsley. This is Italian parsley. I got some peppers. This one is a California Wonder Sweet Pepper. And then we have the mini bell peppers. And then I got one orange sweet bell pepper, two slicing cucumbers right here. And then I did get two spinach. I wasn't planning to get spinach, but there we are. And then I've got four plants of the romaine lettuce, which I was only planning to get two, but they came in a pack of four. We have marigolds and then the flowers. This one, I think the tag fell off, but I believe this one is a dahlia, as is this one here. I got some cosmos. I just love this color. How pretty is that? And then here we got some sweet peas. I actually think that's it for flowers, so not as much as I thought but I'm really, really excited to watch them bloom. I tried to get colors that would sort of coordinate together, and this is what we ended up with. I'm so thankful to have a husband who is wonderful at so many things. He is so talented, and we were planning to buy garden beds. We were looking on Marketplace and at local um, people who were selling them, and he was like, you know what, let me build you some. And he did, he built me two standing garden beds. So we had to figure out how to do it a little bit different well, diff quite a bit different from just the regular raised beds because these ones are on legs and we wanted to make sure that they would support the weight of the soil and everything. So he figured out a way to do it and built them a couple days ago and they are all ready to go. So I'm so thankful to him for doing that. We saved, we did the math and we saved like half of what it was going to cost us buying new or having someone build them for us. Also saved on compost, I'm doing like half compost, half soil roughly. And our local dump actually has compost for free. All the compost that is brought in from people's like kitchen scraps, um, they turn into compost and they just give it away for free. So <laughs> Silas also got um, some and dropped it off here this morning. So we're gonna add that and then plant our veggies. I also thought I would give a little update on the herbs and veggies that we planted a couple weeks ago now they are doing wonderfully they are thriving so well they definitely love the sunshine like this oregano is crazy i need to look at pictures from when i first planted it because they've they've grown so much over here we have our basil that's doing really well it's just thriving and this flower i just noticed i have no idea what this is so if you know what kind of flower this is, let me know. It looks like it's coming out of, where is that? Maybe it was mixed up with the marigolds? Oh my goodness, did I plant something different here? I'll have to check. And then we have our marigolds here and our tomato plant, which is very happy. And there are a few tomatoes in there. I think I counted like five or six little green ones and lots of flowers, so. I'm thankful that it is doing so well. Our nasturtiums have just popped up. Sage is still looking a little bit small, but he looks happy. And these flowers are doing so well. And then we have our rosemary over there. All right, I think we have all of our supplies. I've got my compost here, soil. We st already had two bags of soil. So I got six more. I hope it's enough. I'm a little bit doubtful. But we will see. I can always just go grab more if we need some. And then I have my carp or, um, cardboard to lay on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go around and gather some grass clippings. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word, Perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper Would it make any difference? Would it change for the better? If I wrote you a poem 
If I posted a Like I said, I have eight bags total, and then I also have some extra seed starch that I will just throw in there for extra measure. I've also been saving some of our own compost kitchen scraps to add. We've got banana peel, strawberry, some pepper, eggshells, and onion. So I'm just gonna scatter this in there, and hopefully it will add some extra nutrients for our vegetables. But you're the only one, only one for me, and I'm the only one for you. garden center we're gonna grab a couple more bags of soil I did not quite have enough so I think I will grab two or three more bags that should be sufficient and then I'll also take a look to see if they have jalapeno plants back home now and I'm starting dinner. I am making a new recipe. It's like a chicken pesto dish with tomatoes and asparagus. The only problem is it's a Pinterest recipe and for some reason Pinterest is like down. I can't access the recipe or even Pinterest at all. So <laughs> we're going a little bit rogue on this one but I figure I can just cook the chicken and then I'll cook the veggies in the same pan and then just add the pesto sauce. Oh, and it's with tortellini too. So I'm not sure if I should, I'll probably boil, I'll probably boil the tortellini. So we're just gonna try it out and see how it turns out. Just evening we had a delicious dinner and I just put Danny to bed and I'm going to spend some time planting our vegetables I did get some more soil could not find jalapenos they were sold out as well 
but I'm going to put in my AirPods and listen to a gardening playlist that I made on Spotify. It's just filled with different classical music, very peaceful orchestra vibes. And so I'm excited to just take some time and sort of unwind and plant our garden. If you've seen my previous vlogs where I shared starting our garden and our planter pots, you'll know that I planted some pepper seeds from a bell pepper, like I bought one from the grocery store, and I've had them growing for a few weeks now. And so you might be wondering if I'm planting them, and I decided not to. I was kind of going back and forth. They're very small. They really have not grown much. I did transplant them into bigger containers, but they're still quite small, and I just don't think that they would do well in the garden bed. And I really don't want to take the time to harden them outside. And so I'm just going to maybe try again next year. It was really interesting to see the process of germination, to have the seed starts. Um, that was really, really cool. And so while that was neat to see, I just don't want think that they would do well. And I don't want to take up the space in the garden. I would rather just plant the peppers that I got, the starts that I got today, because I think those will have a much better chance of growing and actually producing good fruit. Well, I have learned so much already um, starting my garden this year, and I wanted to share just a few tips that I've picked up. I've done lots of research, and while this video is definitely not a tutorial, do not think this is a tutorial, um, I have learned some really interesting things. So something I've kept in mind is companion planting. For example, I'm planting my lettuce and cucumbers together because they crave rich soil, they have this uh, similar needs, and the cucumber will when it grows on the trellis will give shade to the lettuce and so it's neat to see how different plants can work together like that also spreading out your planting is a good idea i'm not actually doing this i thought about it um, but for example i could plant like two heads of lettuce one week and then plant more the next week or even a few weeks later to spread out the harvest Another important factor is to consider your gardening zone. I um, planned according to my garden zone when things should be planted after the last frost, things like that. So getting familiar with what works well in your zone is super helpful. And then also I have benefited so much from just chatting with friends of mine who garden. I have a few who I have asked questions of, especially when I was first starting out. And so if you can find one, two or more people to um, just ask questions to, I found that other people who garden really like to help gardeners who are starting out so those things have been so helpful for me and i've so enjoyed starting off this hobby um it just feels so beneficial it's so enjoyable and i really hope that you guys have enjoyed seeing a bit of the process unfold here on my channel Because I don't know where the other one went. You haven't seen it anywhere, have you? Nope. <laughs> what do you think? It's awesome.
friends, it is the next day and I realized that I never filmed an outro for this video. Last night we had a cozy evening here at home and I put the camera away and just enjoyed family time. And I want to thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked it and that hopefully it added a little bit of inspiration to your day. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are new. I share videos here every Wednesday. Thanks again for spending part of your day here with me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.